Now I will demonstrate the abdominal compression assisted no loop technique. I also call this the B1 technique. This is avoiding the sigmoid stretching with the help of abdominal compression. The Mikoto simulator has an automated abdominal compression function that can help you pass through the sigmoid colon without stretching the sigmoid colon, like in a real life setting. Once you reach the specific point which you think that you have to push or stretch out the sigmoid colon, you apply the abdominal compression function to help you pass through the sigmoid colon without stretching out the colon. Okay, now I will try to demonstrate the no loop insertion technique with the help of abdominal compression. I will use standard uh, advanced one for this technique. Always reset the colon. And begin your practice. Always when you enter the rectum, try to keep the lumen opening up to the right side. When the lumen opens up to the left like this, you try to pick this fold up with the up angle. Again, now it's easy coming down. So with the left torque, up angle, bring it to 12 o'clock and pick this fold up, this is usually where I would want abdominal compression, so I would put the abdominal compression function on, and while keeping the lumen open up to the right side, Slight push down into the descending colon. Try to maneuver the tip to the correct lumen opening to the descending. Again, slight push of the colon to the right side. And shorten the sigmoid colon like this. Now, after entering a descending colon, try to find the opening to the mid transverse. Slight push to the mid transverse. The left up. Find the opening to the hepatic flexure. Going to the right, entering the ascending colon. So looking back at my procedure records, you could see here that the vertical plane, I have elongated the colon a little bit here, and also hit the pressure sensor twice here. And that's why I lost a couple of points adding up to 86.